Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre and I am here with Spirit to bring you loving light and clarity from the divine. So please take the messages that honor your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. I hope everybody is having a good time finding themselves, inventing themselves, staying healthy, getting sleep, and meditating. All right, let's jump right into the reading here. It's time for a change. This is really beautiful. And as you can see here, the butterflies, right? The butterflies signify the change. So this is about you not waiting to make a decision. This is about you not putting off what you've been dreaming about. Now, as beautiful as this card is, you are just as beautiful. So if you want to make a change, this is about you um, figuring out ways like to, to break down any rigid structures, right? Because you've been holding back. What's been holding you back? This is, this is something that you have to identify with. So spirit is saying, start small. Um, Change can be many different things. Let's say you go around and you rearrange the furniture in a room. You decide to change the color of your hair or maybe change your hairstyle altogether, right? This is also a good time for you to declutter. This helps you identify that what you once liked or enjoyed, you don't anymore. Um, how can I say this? You know, when you're out shopping and you pick up a piece of art and somehow it spoke to you and you had to have it. Those kinds of things that have that deep meaning for you, you're going to hang on to. But things that you sought out that were more frivolous and maybe at the time it, it felt um, needed for you because it was fulfilling a void. This is about you doing away with those things because this is how you are finding out you are changing and what else can I change? So when you start out small, you can add to that bigger picture. So be spontaneous at this time. How about this? Spirit keeps saying, do things each day a little different, whatever it is. If you, if you have a structured life, that's wonderful. But what, they, what they're talking about here is going in and changing things up. When you're going through this change, don't get caught up in any pitfalls, okay? This is, pitfalls are like bad habits. It's, oh, I tried this and it didn't work out. I'm just going to go back to my old ways. No, that's not what it's about. It's what doesn't work for you. You don't have to worry about anymore. You pay it no mind. And then you try again something else. It's you building on that. And this is how you realize that some things um, that you thought were like great aren't so great anymore. And this is opening up the new beliefs for you. This card is also number five. So number five is about your energy. It's about how you feel, what you value, fidelity, reliability, loyalty. As you're going through these changes, remain focused on those things because that's your inner and outer world that you want. You want fidelity. You want reliability. You want loyalty. When things come your way and that's not part of what you want, then you avoid it. This is about you bringing boldness and strength and it's protecting you at this time. So it's teaching you how to recreate yourself. Stay in your beliefs with meditation and hold on to this insight, okay? This is how this change is going to take place. Um, let's see, next card. Oh, nice. Cross the bridge of happiness. All right, number 42 is the significant number six. 
But before I get to that, let's look at the cross the bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotions. Okay, so when we're talking about this bridge, and then look how beautiful this is, right? This is you crossing over to fulfillment. This is a chance for you to acknowledge your emotions and also to be adequately distanced from them. You see how that's two-sided. There's two sides to this bridge. The bridge allows enough distance so that you never stop learning, but it also signifies like this natural path. It's, it's got a secure footing here, right? But it's, it's made of natural things. So this is you not on solid ground. You see the water beneath, beneath the bridge here. All these are emotions. This part of this bridge is signifying for you two messages. Only the wise can cross the bridge of happiness. As those that are believing earthly riches await them, um, you know, attaining maturity like these trees here. But on the other side is a desire that's been fulfilled. This is, you know, I've, I've made it. I've crossed this bridge. I have my love, my security, my foundation. And this is all about divine order for this. Notice how this home is secluded. This is signifying to me that there is some sort of like silence where you find yourself. You find your higher power. You find God. If you don't believe in God, you believe in a higher being, a higher spirit, right? But this is, this is you finding that. And see how beautiful it is, all the sunlight there. Okay. This is a really important card. This is that destiny that you're looking for. The riches. The wealth the prosperity, the fulfillment. But it's also telling me that you would be alone and you don't want to be alone. You want it, you want to share it with somebody, right? I mean, no one can cross the bridge alone since true happiness is the light that always reverberates between two beings. Two beings could be your soul, you know, your inner self and your outer self. But that's not what you want. You want to share it with somebody. All right, let's 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 talk about number six for a second because this is about balance it's merging opposing energies the land and the water it definitely brings you fulfillment and happiness here you are creating this this is you taking a chance to do something for yourself but you're uniting or attracting like this force. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm having a hard time with this one today and I'm really sorry guys, but I feel like there's two different kind of types of energies out there. There's, there's this one set of you that is ready to move on and you're taking the chance. I keep hearing risk it for the biscuit and it's like no matter what happened you're you're going to do this you are determined on the other side there's a set of you that keep saying I don't want to do this alone spirit is with you teaching you how to do things alone for yourself. This is about you loving yourself, knowing full well you have the power to fulfill your own destiny, make your own reality.
Hmm. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card because I'm, I'm seeing two sides here. You are caught up in drama. All right, don't get all nervous now. Act to free yourself, change and blossom again. Okay, that's why, that's why I'm getting two different types of energies here. The one who is learning to feel secure within themselves and the one who's doubting themselves. And it's interesting because this card, when I see this card, I see these jellyfish. And to me, I'm like, ooh, that stings. Yeah, there's something, and I get it now. You're upset because you want to share what your dreams, goals, and desires are with others. And they are not responding to you the way you had hoped. Yes. You're, you're actually angry. And then you start to doubt yourself. Because you're like, oh, well, if they don't like it, then I must not like it. Bullshit. God, I've been cursing a lot lately. Sorry, this is very <laughs> downright annoying because who is anyone else to tell you how you feel? You're not trying to bring harm to anyone. You're merely trying to live your life the best way you know how and bring happiness into your light, into your energy field with the things that you most treasure. So get off this windowsill. Step down onto this little bench. Get your feet on the ground and get back into this state of mind where you are ready to take a change. Now change doesn't happen without you making an effort towards that change. All right, let's let's go a little bit deeper into this, you are caught up in the drama. All right, we're talking about maybe things aren't going your way, but it's not so much things aren't going your way. I feel the energy is you're asking for approval from others. Don't neglect your true self at this time, okay? A new opportunity, a new opportunity awaits you. That's what spirit's trying to bring to your attention. If you can stay here and be stung by all these jellyfish, or would you rather be here on this beautiful tranquil lake? You can still, like Pisces, like to be alone. You can still be alone. And when you want to get back on land, the bridge is there for you to come out. Get involved with the community around you. A new opportunity is awaiting you, so you need to take it. They're asking you to not ask others for approval or recognition. You make the changes based on your desires at this time. When you do that, and make some small ones. But when you start doing things for yourself and not asking for approval or needing that extra person to say, oh yeah, that sounds great. Do you really want people that just, you know, tell you everything you want to hear? How will you learn? This is you making these changes based on what you want, which then changes your belief system, the old belief system. It's just that simple. Now, this card, number 40, actually is number four. So this is about you feeling secure, solid structure. You're going to have bursts of energy once you do this. But the most important thing is it's going to bring forth less complications in your life, less drama. You're going to be aware of the things that serve you and things that don't. 
Um, hold on, I have to move my chair for a second. Okay, so I have your attention, right? This is you, time for a change. This is this beautiful change. This is you learning that in order to have this, I need to step off the ledge. Okay, let's ask Archangel Michael Sword of Light for some advice. Angel Michael, please, we have opposing energies in this reading. Please provide us the guidance to bring these energies into divine light and order. Stay the course. Love it. Yes. Don't panic. Oh my God. Is he not just so beautiful? Don't panic. Don't worry. Okay. Archangel Michael is here so that you know you're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Take a leap of faith. Learn from your experiences and keep going, right? Your past experiences have taught you what? Answer that for yourself. What, what have you learned? What worked and what didn't work? So are you going to continue to do what didn't work and expect a different result? No. You're going to stay on course and have the bridge of happiness. All right, angels, let's go ahead with our animal oracle. What is it we need to know? How can spirit assist us? How can we stay the course? All right, guys, let me see what we have. Ah, yes. We have not ever had the horses before. Care for others and let them be free. Look at the rainbow, the unicorn. Do you know the horses are the most healing animals with humans? So I'm going to read to you a little bit about the horse and then we'll wrap up the reading. This card calls you to expand your heart center and focus on your noble qualities and aspirations. You are reminded that in order to honor others and let them be free, you must first respect yourself and set yourself free. Yes, set yourself free. You are not obligated to anyone but yourself. Once you find that path that helps you believe in yourself. You then have the strength to help the others. So tune into the great universal Angel Mary and let her wonderful healing, divine feminine light bathe you and dissolve the old. Yes, dissolve the old, hence the chance, hence the change, right? Then take decisions that chime with you and you will light up. This actually helps you activate your own personal great soul qualities. Yeah. You can do this. I'm rooting for you. I am going to say one thing. Spirit has been holding your hand through much of this. And when we start finding ourselves, believing in ourselves at a certain point, it's not a test. It's more for validation. When you get to this bridge, you may have to cross it alone. 
Not that spirit's never around you, but they're going to step back a little bit during this time because they want you to achieve this in such a way that you feel the honor within yourself, the capabilities that you have. So continue to journal and most definitely continue to meditate because this bridge that you're about to cross is leading you to your destiny. Okay, that's all the messages I have for you today. Love and light, Pisces. Please continue to like and subscribe and definitely leave your comments. I want to see who's taken a risk and who's not because I want you to get off the bench and get in the game. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.